The best dupes for the Dyson Airwrap. One, two, <laughs> and three. Let's do it. Let's start with this new bad boy that I just picked up today. This is by Ion and this is their four in one air styler. I picked it up at Sally Beauty and it's $149.99. So you get four attachments. You have left and right one inch barrels, which is actually the smallest standard in comparison to Dyson. Dyson has the 1.2 inch and 1.6 inch. Shark comes at 1.25 inch. This is one inch. Then you have the diffuser and a concentrator. And another cool thing about this, it has awesome features. For example, you have three heat temperature settings and then separately two airflows plus a cool shot. We were playing with this and the only way the cool air shot works is with the concentrator or with the diffuser or just like this without any attachment. For the barrel it's itself, it kind of has this on off feature where it doesn't really allow you to do a cool shot, which is really fascinating. Okay, so we're gonna do the highest airflow and the highest heat setting. It says just to hold for 15 seconds or until your hair is completely dry. And then you basically click this cool, cool curl uh, button and it just turns off for you and then you just wrap it again and it turns back on. Well, you have to click to turn it back on. And Andre is gonna time us. Okay. Good. Looks really good actually. I'm gonna say one thing, be very careful. This is hot, the barrel. But look at the ant. We're getting something, you guys. That's something, we're getting something really good. Interesting. I'm not sure exactly what the material of the barrels are, but it's very different than the Dyson or the Shark. So it might be closer to a, like a regular curling iron. I can't even touch this right now, like hold on to it as I can with the Dyson or the Shark. This is hot. Okay, next dupe. So this is a dupe if you already have the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. This is attachment that you can buy separately. We got these on Amazon, so these are not from Dyson. Keep in mind, these are not sold from or by Dyson. So it goes inside like so, magnetically, and then you can attach, these are also not Dyson, these are dupes, aftermarket dupes, that you attach to your Dyson hair dryer. So now, we're gonna test it on this side and see how good this is. And these are 1.2 inch. Again, highest heat setting, highest airflow. <laughs> Andre's yawning over there. Okay, so this is not, it didn't wrap as well or as quick as the Ion, but it wrapped. Let's keep going. <laughs> this looks so funny. <laughs> Okay. I'm both very similar. Ion looks great. Again, it's gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit more loose on the Dyson side, the dupe. <laughs> versus the ion just because the barrels are 1.2 inch versus one inch. So the next dupe, we're going to use just the attachment to the Dyson hair dryer, the supersonic with the Dyson original 
tools. You can purchase the original Dyson Airwrap and you can also purchase the new Dyson Airwrap, the new and improved, the re-engineered, the ones with the twist, the nozzle at the top to move the different directions, which I think is phenomenal. Of course, disclaimer. This little attachment for the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer, again, is not a product from by or by Dyson. They didn't come up with this, they didn't invent this. It's just somebody came up with it aftermarket for the Dyson Supersonic. So my only concern, I think this little uh, adapter is probably gonna be good for only the barrels because it is magnetic, so it doesn't have that hold. I mean, you're, I'm putting very little force and the magnet is coming off, so I wouldn't personally recommend to use this with these brush heads, but you can. Let me see this one right here. This one was my most used tool. Ooh, see, this one doesn't wanna get on. I'm gonna attach the original in here, exact same airflow and heat setting. I personally think the air wrap is better for the way you hold it. <laughs> because it is pretty top heavy. You have all the weight right here and uh, it's not as evenly distributed. Next dupe, obviously, is the Shark Flex Style. It's expensive dupe, but it's still a major dupe for the Dyson. And of course, I personally think it's one of the better ones because it does have that technology in there. 250 versus 600. And then the Ion is 150. Of course, I have a whole video on this by, its, by itself and then versus the Dyson. Obviously, we're going to feature in this video because it is an incredible dupe for the Dyson Airwrap. Same settings, highest airflow, highest heat setting. Forget how loud <laughs> the shark is. <laughs> and it has such a high pitch too. That Kiwana technology is so satisfying. And of course, we're gonna get the biggest waves with this because it is the biggest barrel. So one big difference with the Shark, I even mentioned this in the other two videos, Shark is pretty hot. All the other tools are hot, but Shark is hot. <laughs> like the air, the air itself. The air itself is very hot, so you do have to be careful with that. They give you three heat settings plus the cool shot. The Dyson Airwrap only has two heat settings plus the cool shot, so I think that's great. On the top, I wanna do Ion versus the original Dyson Airwrap. The original wow. air wrap. I haven't used this one since I got the new one. <laughs> I'm gonna switch it to the longer barrel just because the longer barrel is so much better if you have longer hair. It doesn't over wrap itself as much. Gonna let it cool off, 
even though it was pretty cool already, but we're just gonna let it do its thing. So let's talk about the safety because I think when you're purchasing these types of hair stylers, you're looking for the safety feature, or at least that's what I was kind of looking for. I would say the most safe is uh, honestly the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer because the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer never goes above 212 degrees Fahrenheit versus the Dyson Air Wrap, it goes up to 302. For the Shark, they're not claiming exactly what the temperature setting is at the highest level, but it also, they claim to be very safe for your hair. But you, you mentioned that it feels hotter. Yes, because of the high airflow and the high heat, it does feel the hottest out of all of these. And now moving on to the Ion, we found that it goes up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And one other thing, if you're using the ion with the barrels only, you don't have the option to change the heat setting to a lower setting. That's why the cool shot doesn't actually perform with the barrel attachment. They say right here, when installed with the barrel attachments and working as a curler, the air temperature settings are constant around 250 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 Celsius and non-adjustable. So keep that in mind, 250 degrees, but you can't adjust the heat setting. You can adjust the airflow. Can you actually, hold on, hold on. No, you can't. You can't adjust the airflow. You can't do the cool shot. You can't do the lower heat setting and you can't change the airflow. Mm. Hi, buddy. Hi. I'm right, came to say hi. Performance, I have to give it down to the Shark. Shark, I think it's the most versatile. It's the most powerful from all the dupes and you have all the options. The one thing I will say, if you want more of those tighter waves, tighter, tighter curls, you're not gonna get it with the Shark. You're gonna get more of a loose wave, a loose bend, just because it is the biggest barrel, 1.25 inch. Again, Dyson has the 1.2 inch, Shark has 1.25. So you're looking, if you're looking for more of that tighter wave, you might want to go with the ion because the ion is a one inch. Okay, so the best Kawanda technology, obviously it's the Dyson, but we're talking about the dupes. The best Kawanda technology definitely has to go for the shark. Then <laughs> I'll say the little attachment and even with the dupe, the magnetic attachment for the Dyson Supersonic and then the Ion. So the last one goes to the Ion because it's not as even. So when I was wrapping my hair, I had to kind of force the ends up a little bit towards the middle or just a little like one fourth of the way up because down here towards the bottom, it doesn't have airflow, it's not as strong. So the Quanta technology in here, it's not as strong and as, as intense as the Shark or the Dyson or the Dyson dupes. Overall, I think if you're looking for the barrel attachments or just the barrel stylers with your hair dryer. I think the best option is the Ion because you do have the great option for your concentrator and for a diffuser. But you already, it's a great hair dryer in my opinion. I do like the different heat settings. I like that you can, it, they're separated the airflow from the temperature setting. I think that's phenomenal for a hair dryer or for the diffuser. The only thing I'm not impressed with is they took away all the options for the barrel attachment. I'm trying to think why they did that and why they're not letting us have the control, maybe because you need more uh, technology and they just didn't want to think or invest into how to get the best results with this type of a hair dryer. But 150 is still very expensive, but you do get three attachments. You have the concentrator, diffuser, plus the barrels. And I think in comparison to all of them, this is a phenomenal option. One thing I do wanna mention, the Ion does come with a finger glove because I did mention the barrel gets very hot, so be careful. Even at 250 degrees Fahrenheit, it feels very hot especially when you're just holding it. Cheapest, like Andre mentioned, if you already have the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer, again, it's $400. It's still very expensive, but if you already have it in your life and you really want to try the Kawanda technology, try this out. The magnetic attachment, it goes right inside and then you can buy any attachment to go with this. You don't have to buy the um, the dupes. <laughs> you can buy these little attachments on their own, either from the Dyson's website, I think Sephora, Alta, 
a lot of retailers, retailers, they carry the Dyson air wrap attachments separately. Again, I'm gonna say buy at your own risk this little head right here, because if it does anything to the supersonic hair dryer, you might not get it fixed or replaced because you know, you bought something that's not of Dyson and they can't guarantee the quality or what happens with this if you put this on top. <laughs> so the loudest hair tool I would say by a hair is the Ion, but it's not as high pitched as the Shark. So Shark and Ion are pretty much on on the same decibel, but the Ion, it's a lower pitch, so it's not as intense on the ears. The Shark is the highest pitch and it's the loudest when it comes to that. So next, uh, which one is the most comfortable or the lightest to use or and when you're holding it? I would say the heaviest are both Dyson and Ion and they're the most uh, uncomfortable because they are so top heavy. Shark is uh, lighter but the air wrap is the lightest out of all of them. If you're looking for more detail or more in depth, I do have videos where I just feature the shark on its own, see how it performs. And then I also compared it to the Dyson air wrap, obviously, and also the Revlon One Step Styler. And of course, I have many videos on the Dyson air wrap itself, the original versus the newest, the new and improved, the re-engineered Dyson air wrap. Is there really a difference? I have a video on that as well. And I also, have a different video with a different head attachment without this little thing right here, this little magnetic. It has a different attachment where you just go straight into the hair dryer, and that was very fascinating as well. So there you have it. Hopefully one of these will suit your hair needs <laughs> or what you need out of your hair with one of these air stylers. Wanted to do an update in the, the day to show you guys what the hair looks like. Bam. It looks great. Really impressed that my hair still looks this good. And I didn't brush it out today. I just used my fingers to comb through. Another thing I noticed is just using a wide tooth comb to really just kind of really softly brush through the waves or the curls or just use my fingers um, to help the longevity of the curls. But that's just, uh, it's all preference. All right, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you for watching, spending time with me. And I'll see you later. Bye.